Hello, and welcome to the Tempazone UC8 tutorial. The Tempazone Unit Controller 8, or UC8, is the backbone of the Tempazone control system. By using the UC8 controller in many configurations, Tempazone is able to use one common board across all types of equipment. Today, in this Tempazone tutorial, we will take you through the functions of the UC8 controller. Let's get familiar with the UC8 and take a look at terminal identification. The first item to recognize on the UC8 controller is the hatched line running vertically and diagonally across the board. This line is the distinction between high and low voltage. Terminals to the left of the vertical line up to the earth spade are the 240 volt AC power input. All terminals below the diagonal lines are relay switches and may contain 240 volt AC or 24 volt AC. All terminals outside of this region are low voltage AC, low voltage DC and Modbus, with the exception of iron 1 and iron 2, which sometimes may switch a 240 volt AC control circuit. Relay outputs high, medium and low are commonly used to switch three-speed condenser fans but they may also be used in other configurations to switch indoor fan contactors. CMC and RV are voltage-free relay contacts that are most commonly used to switch the compressor contactor and reversing valve. SSR1 and SSR2 are solid state relays that can be configured for various uses. They will most likely be utilized for some heater control and digital scroll modulation. On water-cooled equipment, SSR1 is used for condenser water pump verification. Only AC voltage can be applied to these terminals as DC voltage used on solid state relays will fail to allow the relay switch to open after it is closed. The remote on-off terminals are voltage-free terminals that allow for the unit to be turned on and off by external command, such as by a door switch or a room key closed loop for on, broken loop for off. This terminal is not capable of a shutdown in fire trip as the remote on off function does not interrupt timers such as the fan run on timer. D1, D2, D3 and SC are voltage free relay contacts commonly used for demand reduction, enabling or load shedding of a system's capacity. D1 activated switches the compressor off and the indoor fan is allowed to run. D2 activated will lower the capacity by 50%. D3 activated will lower the capacity by 25%. On water-cooled equipment, D1 is used as a safety cutout for a high level flow if a condensate pump is installed. SC is the common ground terminal for these inputs. The V1, V2 and zero volt terminals are a 0 to 10 volt DC analog output used to control the outdoor fan speed in the case of V1 and indoor fan speed for V2. V1 can also be used for condensing water valve modulation on water-cooled equipment if one is installed in the field. 12, V2, A2 and 0 volt provide a 12 volt DC ground and Modbus communication signal that is used in the control communication loop. This loop may include slave UC8s, an indoor unit controller, inverter drive, or Tempazone factory supplied thermostat. V1, A1, and 0V provide high level inputs for Modbus communication by BMS, should it be required. This is also the communication input for slave UC8s to communicate with the master. IN1 and IN2 are multi purpose safety loops that can change function dependent on unit configuration. These switches may operate with HP and LP switches, unit overloads, and water flow verification switches. HI, ME, LO, CP, HT, VF, and VC are inputs provided for low-level control of traditional thermostat operation. HI, ME, and LO are high, medium, and low fan speed inputs that switch relay coils common to C1. The coils can be operated by 24 volt AC or 12 volt DC. 
CP is the compressor input signal and HT is the heating input signal. Like the fan speed inputs, these terminals are relay coils capable of a 24 volt AC or 12 volt DC input and are common to the C2 terminal. VF and VC are 0 to 10 volt analog inputs referenced to the 0 volt terminal. VF allows for indoor fan speed control and VC allows for compressor capacity control. A 5 volt DC and 12 volt DC terminal are provided should they be required in your installation. Here is a common example of a third party thermostat installation. EXB1 and EXP2 are outputs designed to operate electronic expansion valves. AUX and FLT are outputs to plug-in relays that can provide auxiliary control for items such as fresh air fans and false alarm switching for items such as alarm lights. HPT and LPT are inputs for suction and discharge pressure transducers. Six sensor terminals are available for use in the system. Not all will be used depending on unit configuration. The UC8 has 16 dip switches, which determine the UC8 configuration to the model requirements of the temper zone in use. Dip switch configuration can be identified on the unit wiring diagram or unit specification sheet. This document also holds other valuable information such as sensor arrangement. Tapping of the SW3 push button will display critical operational information of the system on the UC8 LCD screen, including suction pressure, discharge pressure, superheats, capacity, and more. Reference to this information can be found in the document case within the electrical compartment or on the electrical panel itself. The LCD display will also show any unit fault that may occur. The most common faults can be found on a table inside the unit panel or the document wallet. An extended list of faults can be found in the UC8 manual. The UC8 also has functionality available throughout the SW3 push button that can assist the installer. These are referred to as special modes. Some of the special modes include adjustment of the high and low fan speed output, Modbus addressing, constant supply air temperature control, and many others. Special mode function and settings can be found in the UC8 manual relevant to your software version. For further information to help your field diagnosis, be sure to download the latest version 8 of the TempoZone service training manual from TempoZone.com or ask for a hard copy at your local branch. Be sure to subscribe to the TempoZone YouTube channel for training and tutorial videos, product updates, and much more.